Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got one system from the user Captain Aaron in Discord here. So yeah, massive thank you to them for sending this um, system in. But yeah guys, if you'd like to send in your own simulations, then make sure to either join my Discord server, link in the description, or you can uh, send me the link of the workshop or tell me the name of it on the workshop in the comments and I can um, find it that way. But please keep in mind the Discord is the more reliable way of getting a uh, system into one of these. Um, videos but yeah just keep that in mind but yeah with that all said and done let's get into this so yeah captain aaron they have sent this simulation down here in on the workshop it's called the uh samson system so let's go ahead and see what they are prepared for us right here we go okay got quite a quite a big amount of stuff to look in here whoa, whoa right okay so the samson system home of the samsons right so we're going all the way down okay so let's go on a uh, kind of trails and oh, no, no, i'll keep all bits on then right there we go uh, labels we need that. We need that on. Okay, there we go. Right, uh, the star A, the main star, which is a G class star. Okay, so going to be very similar to the sun in all stats, pretty much there. Okay, so there we go. Right, first object, Akam. This is one of the default names. I recognise this one a lot. Right here we go. I like in the atmosphere colour on it already. Check that out. Right, that's looking good. Right, so Akam, the first planet around the first star. The surface conditions are very hostile and deadly clouds of sulfuric acid. Okay really liking its appearance is that black are they picked the black dark brown clouds yeah yeah okay with a red atm the white service underneath i'm liking it the sulfuric clouds that looks good really really like the design on that one i have to say very nice indeed there so that is akam right so moving on uh samson planet the home planet of an intergalactic race of dogs okay a large portion of the planet is covered in water and most of the land is covered in vast quantities of forest and grassland okay so there we go so there is the planet got some city lights on it for the population of intergalactic dogs so there we go right cool and it's got one moon as well the moon of the planet and this is a colony okay so there we go so there's mona awesome all right next up we have got jewel a bright green gas giant slightly larger than the mass of um samsung and it gets its color from a microorganism so there we go so there is jewel so there we go. So just an all green gas giant. So there is Jewel. All right, next up we have Sam. A dull coloured gas giant slightly larger than Jewel and a mass of two moons. So there we go. There is Sam. All right, and then on to the moons. So we've got Oropax, a recently colonised moon. The original surface is still showing in orbit and the very first cities is starting to pop up. Okay. So there we go. See some cities on it there. Low amount of cities. So there's Oropax. And then we have got the other moon, that's it. A massive mining colony, and now massive canyons crack across the moon. Some of the mines have been abandoned, and the atmosphere is starting to change. As the dust from the ground gets launched into the air, it will be a toxic green in a few centuries. Okay, so there we go. Sort of mining, mining colony on there. Awesome stuff. So there's um, that's it. Right, now we're taking a big leap out, a big, big leap. So we have this one. Uh, Saturnos, a faraway sub Jupiter with a bunch of moons that are changing their orbits. Right, here we go. So, obviously, quite similar to Saturn, name-wise and colour-wise, as we can see there. So, it's kind of like an amplified version of Saturn, colour-wise. But, yeah, there we go. It's very distant. As we can see, it's starting to get dark here. So, the orbit, 24 point... Yes, this is roughly Neptune distance away. So, it's going to be roughly dark as Neptune, since that is practically the sun, um, the star it is orbiting. Uh, it's got some moons. Um, small, mostly ice-coloured moon with high mountains across the southern hemisphere. It's dark here. The surface is even mapped. Ooh, I'm liking the... Yeah, that's looking good. I'm liking it. So there we go. Really stands out the surface on that one there. So that's good. I'm liking it. Right. I'm really enjoying the system so far. Um, okay, the next moon out. A really small, smooth ice ball with large mountain ranges scattered across the planet. So there we go. So yeah, definitely uh, what's one little micro object actually. Quite reflective from that little picture we saw as well. Right, now we have the next one. Tersipas. I think so I say it. A small coffee-coloured ice giant with abnormally colour poles and no indication of it being natural. Okay, so let's see the colours. So there we go. So different colours on the north and south there. Okay, so there we go. Quite a cool view of the main uh, planet over there as well. So the Saturnos one. Alrighty. Alright, now we have a uh, Calm. A large discoloured mud ball with blue mountains and really small ice-covered rivers scattered across the moon. So there we go. That's pretty, pretty uh, interesting colour scheme there. Blue and orange. Or blue and brown so there we are right and then next up we've got um optimus the smallest object in the system and has the largest mountains in the system and has started to be colonized with large cities okay so there we go there's the cities 
Awesome stuff. So there we go. Right. So now we're taking a big jump again. So the next one is called Chiron. So I'm guessing this is probably based off uh, Pluto's moon Charon. Uh, a blue moon. Okay. Oh, it's got Earth City lights. Look at that. Um, so yeah, it's very far away. Right. A blue dwarf planet with dull orange mountains and large cities across the planet. Even as the tallest cryovolcano in the system. Right. There we go. And that's got one moon as well. Europa. A small cracked uh, surface ice world. So that's, is that the same? No, that's a different Europa to the normal default one, I think. So yeah, it doesn't look the uh, same. We can now uh, remove the... Uh... Oh, okay. It's a t Is that a tinted Europa? I don't think I've ever seen anyone do one of that. Look at that. So it's the normal Europa texture, as we can see, but it's been tinted blue or coloured blue. That's cool, that is. Whoa, no, I don't want to make it a gas giant, but... Oh, no, the water's back on. Oh, it's not frozen anymore. But yeah, look at that. That's looking good. See, it's just painted blue. Not even tinted. It's just painted blue. That looks awesome. So there we go. So we'll just leave it the way it is. Right. That's awesome. So yeah, small cracked uh, surface ice world. We, I mean, we know what Europa is. Uh, tiny cryovolcanoes near the equator and heads of intergalactic empire have decided there can be no colonization for the moon so the ecosystem can be preserved. Okay. Cool. I like that. Right. Yeah. Europa is a good one to uh, customize. Right. Now we're going all the way over here. So we have got uh, Samson Star B, the Dixie Star. Okay. So, a cool K-class star, and it's the last star. Okay, so the second and last star. So, here we go. So, orange, maybe more of an orange than a red dwarf. I don't know, it's quite hard to tell. I mean, it's got decent mass to be more of an orange than a red dwarf. It's a little warmer than a red one. I, yes, that's roughly an orangey one, isn't it? Um, K-class. Right, um, and the last star. Okay, so take on... Okay, so Dixie World. A, a cool super Earth with large seas and one ocean that makes up the water... Okay, being the, uh, well, that looks good actually. Uh, the Pleiades Ocean that spans across the equator all the way through the North Pole and on the other side of the planet has large cities like the Samsung planet. So there we go. So realistic. So there we go. That's looking good. I like that. That does look really, really nice uh, with the ice on it there as well. So there's Dixie World. And it's got one moon, um, Arcturus. It's, that's named after one of the other stars we know. It's got a lime green ATM on it. Right. Temperate rock with a poisonous atmosphere. Okay. And also is the moon of the other planet there. Awesome stuff. Right. Moving on. We've got Orion. A cool, desertic super world with large lakes of water across the world. There has been a nitrogen atmosphere. No life has been found here, but there is evidence of building blocks of life in the large lakes. Okay. Cool. I really like the customization on these. I think these have all been really... Uh, a lot of work's been put into these, I'd say. So that one, that one does look nice as well. Right. Uh... Cygnus, Cygnus, a small frozen gas giant. It says here, has a full brown gas all over the planet. Okay, so there we go. And then also the moons. Tis just a poisonous dead with strange glowing markings all over the moon. It has a very canyony southern hemisphere. Okay, strange markings indeed. What is going on there? Is that a glitch or. It kind of reminds me of a glitch we saw in a few videos back. Where it was, there was one with those giant magenta pink spots on it. They kind of remind me of that, but. Really, I like how he's incorporated the glitch. I'm assuming it's a glitch. I like how he's incorporated it into the actual planet's um, planet's information here. That's cool. So taking advantage of the glitches. <laughs> so Pandora, a cold, well, water-rich, Earth-sized moon with seas, lakes, and rivers. So that's his, uh, maybe it's an avatar reference. That's there, actually. Um, atmosphere, which gives it a deep blue color. So there we go. Looking good. So there's Pandora. Right, now we're taking a big jump out. Uh... Lyra, a rainbow-coloured gas giant with the scientists of Samsung Planet Dixie World are trying to find out why it has the colour pattern. So there we go. Looking good. All right. And we've got uh, Serpens, a temperate Earth-sized moon with really large oceans and has a large amount of blue plants, which gives the planet a blue light show on the night side. Right. Oh, there you go. You can see him. So there you go. That's cool. So really large oceans, large amount of blue plants. Yeah, blue plants, which make a blue light at nighttime. So glowing plants. That's cool. So serpents, there we are. Right, now moving on to the next. I think this is the last part of the system now. So we've got um, Ursa Major, a really cold ice giant, which is the moon of... Um... Oh, no, no, wait. Oh, no, Ursa Major. No, no, okay. A, de a desaturated rainbow gas giant and the scientists of both Samson and Dixie World have theorized that it may have rainbow feature um, a lot longer than Lyra did. Okay, so it may have had it a lot longer. All right, and now onto the one I was originally saying. So let's just get a look at that one first, actually. So it's a more of a pastel-colored rainbow one. All right, and then all the way over here. So this is um, 
Ursa Minor. Okay, a really cold ice giant, which is the moon of Ursa Major. The colour of the planet is a bright grey equator. As for the poles, it is very dark grey, um, which the scientists of um, Samson and Dixie would think the coloration is um, the amount of sunlight the gas gets. Okay, so there we are. So if we look on the flashlight, so you can see, there you go. So it's roughly the same um, as we can see there. Righty. Right, and now onto the last object in the system, uh, Vulcanus, a yellow war moon when the, where there is red lights on the surface. So there you go. Oh, yeah, look at that. So there's the red lights. That looks good. You can see some of them in the daylight there just because we have multiple stars, um, which comes from volcanoes. The surface gets constantly recycled. No colonization is planned because the volcanoes, uh, but it's quite a nice scientific moon. So that's kind of like Io then. It's Yeah, and this one's constantly changing as well, which is cool. And I like, I like the uh, usage of city lights representing something other than cities. We don't really see that much. Usually whenever you see city lights, they're always cities. But I like, I like the fact on how the moon we saw back there, it was the blue plant. And then this one, it's like the red volcanoes making the red. I think that looks really cool. Big thumbs up from me. That does look good. So yeah, created by uh, Captain Aaron. Very interesting system indeed. Really enjoyed that. Very nice job. So there we go. And you know, that is the yeah, the full system. So let's get a lineup of all the objects in here. So this is, um, there's some really good ones in here. Right, Saturn knows. I did like this one. I, I like the pale the pale colours on that. I think look really nice. I think that'd be the top gas giant for me. I do like Saturnos here as well. Onto the rocky planet. So this one is going to be a hard pick. Dixie World look cool. I really, really like the first planet in the system. This one here. I can. I really, really like the red ATM with the black clouds. I think that looks really cool. Uh, Orion, also quite cool. It's quite similar to this one, actually. Pandora. There's the one with the Earth city lights again. Um, and yeah, the, both of the planets with the city lights. So this one, the blue glowing plants. I really like that. And then, yeah, the volcanic yellow one we just saw. I think they're my top picks uh, planet-wise. But yeah, there we go. And also, I did like the Europa um, as well there. But yeah, that does it for this system. So that was the, um, yeah, the Samson star system. So yeah, created by captain um aaron from discord so massive thank you to them again for sending this in really really enjoyed this system guys any feedback um or just uh, thoughts and opinions you have on the system let us know down in the comments i'm sure the creator would be quite interested to see um your thoughts and opinions on his system as well but yeah there we go guys so other than that make sure if we can go for 30 likes on today's video guys and also subscribe if you're new helps on the journey to 16,000 subscribers as we are less than 100 away now let's see if we can get that before the end of the week that'd be absolutely awesome but yeah guys other than that make sure you all stay safe out there there. and yeah i will see you in the next video goodbye